So I had a chance to watch a whole lot of Section 7 games this weekend. And I'm going to just give a snapshot of what I thought really, really quick. Um, handful of players. I, I, I think Isaiah Johnson, if you were mid-major, you better go hard on him because by the end of the year, I think he might be a, he may be a high major kid. Uh, Mozzie Mosley, I, um, we played them last year in preseason and we were up by 11 <laughs> in the fourth quarter. And Mozzie Mosley put on this Superman cape and became Superman. And uh, we ended up losing by a couple of points. And um, uh, everyone thought we was going to get blown out. But uh, uh, we ended up playing them tough. But Mozzie Mosley is an incredible talent. Um, I mean, he I, I think he's one of the few players that has no length. Because even if he can't do it with his speed, he'll be able to do it with his length, you know, as it pertains to um, he's a very long athlete. I mean, the kid has no ceilings. Nick Kamini. I mean, Nick Kamini's going to get a triple-double this year. He's going to have to carry. He's going to have to carry uh, uh, um, uh, Harvard Westlake. I, I, I think the sky is the limit for that kid. I, I actually think he's a pro. I don't know where, overseas, in Europe, or in the NBA. But I think if if, uh, if you get a chance to see Nick Kamini play this year, I advise you to it. Notre Dame backcourt. I'm very excited about... Uh, uh, Notre Dame's backcourt versus um, if we get a St. John Bosco game or if we get the Roosevelt game, I want to see Notre Dame versus the Roosevelt backcourt, which I have in my, um, I really, really want to see them play. And um, lastly, I, I got a sleeper team out here. I wasn't sold on them until I saw them play this, this weekend. I had a chance to see... Uh, Rolling Hills prep at the Maranatha and their complete team, you know, uh, um, really good coaching staff. Obviously, they got like 10 championships among the coaching staff. Um, but that team is for real. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for them. I think they have a chance to win open division. And a, another team that I'm high on, but I need to see more of. Is Crespi. I don't think they're an open team. I think they're a Division One team, and I think they'll do exceptionally well. But uh, they end up doing really well in Section Seven. But I'm real, real excited to uh, uh, to watch more of them. Um, and lastly, I'm gonna say this, and and I'm gonna make it very, very plain. I'm gonna make it very, very clear. I had a chance to see Sierra Canyon play too, but they just got a new four-star transfer, so I'm, I'm I, I, the verdict is out. On not out on them. I want to see how they how they mold and how they gel. And lastly, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this because I live in L.A. Basin. There is a lot of potentially D1 talent sitting on these private school benches. I'm I I, I watch games and I and I look at kids and you say Fred, who are you? I helped a lot of kids get to college 10, 15 years ago. I'm just saying, made a lot of money, made parents some, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm a, I'm, I'm a just say this. I helped a lot. I had a scouting service, <laughs> allegedly, right? And I know what a division one kid looks like. And I'm going to tell you guys, parents, this two prong. You can't put the toothpaste back in the bottle and you can't turn the hourglass upside down again. And what I mean by that is you don't get to repeat the ninth grade over again athletically. You can repeat it academically, but you can't repeat it athletically. And you need those, you need college coaches need to have trust in you. You got to understand college coaches' livelihood is on the line. College coaches live great lives. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They doing what they love to do. Uh, they have a, they have some level of status and you can't infringe upon a, a a college coach lifestyle so what that entails is you got it if you if your high school coach can't trust you to play 30 minutes your college coach ain't gonna trust you to play 30 minutes well it's 40 minutes in college it's 32 in high school and what i'm saying is if you don't have the reps you will never reach your high school apex you will never reach your high school apex and 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 what i'm saying is this 
you're missing out on reps. You're missing the game speed is different between AAU and, and high school basketball. And I, I hope parents really, really understand this, because if you are a division one kid and you end up going to a mid major, you probably could have been a high major kid. And if you go to a, a division two, you probably could have been a mid major. I, 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 I think you are. What's what's the word I'm looking for? You are under uh, you are underperforming. You are literally underperforming. And uh, uh, I, I wish y'all well. But I'm, I'm going to leave you guys with this. If your coach say, if your coach tells you, hey, next year is going to be your year. Play JV your freshman year. Play JV your freshman year. It's okay. When you become a sophomore, you're going to play. And then you become a sophomore and they get a transfer. <laughs> and then you become a junior, they get a transfer. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Every If you got a transfer your freshman year, probably going to get a transfer in your sophomore year. If you get a soft freshman, a transfer in your sophomore year, you're probably going to get a soft, uh, a transfer in your junior year. And, 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 and that's just par for course, man. And hopefully y'all parents, and I'm going to say y'all parents, because my child ain't going, my children are not going through this. Whether, whether, whether we choose to go to private or high school, my son is getting the ball. My daughter's getting the ball. Someone asked me the other day, if you had to choose a high school right now, what high school would your child go to? I said, Pasadena Marshall. And I'm going to get, um, there's going to be two or three kids to go with Lincoln, two or three kids to go with Kenny. If I got to buy an apartment building next to that school, I'm going to buy an apartment building next to that school. It's a win-win for me. You know what I mean? And, 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 and the goal is Hall of Fame high school career, Hall of Fame college career. That's the goal. Division one, two or three. Hall of Fame. That's the goal, man. You know, and and, and, and and I think we lose sight of it looking at these schools on TV and like, man, I want to play for that school. Do that school want you? Are you prepared to play for that school? And and all my young parents and young athletes, hear me out. It takes you four years to I I I have an undergraduate degree in history. It took me four years to become an expert on history to get that degree. Expert, expert. I don't consider myself an expert. I'm curious, but I don't consider myself an expert on history. It took me four years, right? Think about this. I did some, I'm a handful of classes away from my master's. Um, but the point I'm making is all my young parents, third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade parents. If it took me four years to master history in college, Shouldn't your child be a master at that position in basketball? Think about it. Think about it. Master point guard, master shooting guard. And then you and then you evolve from there, you know, and uh, at the end of the day, I, I, I wish all y'all well on this journey. I've helped 10. I helped a lot of kids get to college years ago just with common sense, telling to the parents, hey, you need to go to this school. You not what you want to do, what you need to do. You need to go. You probably don't need to go to UConn. You probably just need to go to Long Beach State. You're going to have 100 people at the game. You got some level of protection. Don't go 3,000 miles away and be a role player at UConn. Go to Long Beach State. Go to Pepperdine. Be a Hall of Famer and have a chance to squeeze into that second round, of maybe first round. And, 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 and worst case scenario, you have a hell of a career overseas. And then you get to come back and be a coach and be a mentor. And, you know, I I wish y'all well. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just say this. It's too much talent. It's too much talent sitting on these private school benches. I watched a lot. I watched at least 20 games this weekend of all the schools that I could think of. It's too much talent coming off the bench of these private schools. And I'm going to tell you this. They're getting a transfer in next year. And then the year after that, they're going to get another transfer in. Then the year after that, they're going to get another. Then you're going to wake up your senior year like, damn. Damn. I done fucked up my child's high school career. And, and then you know what's going to happen when your child turns 30? When they become a parent, they're going to have some resentment towards you. 
Yeah, they will. They will. And you're going to look back and be like, man, maybe we shouldn't have went to that private high school. Or maybe we shouldn't have went to that public high school, that, that, that big time public high school. Maybe we should have went to a Division three school, a Division four school, literally around the corner. And had a hell of a career and got recruited. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. But I'm going to say this again. Isaiah Johnson had a hell of a weekend. Mozzie Mosley, hell of a weekend. Nick Kamini, I think he's a pro. Um, uh, I think Braylon Burries is a pro. Uh, Rolling Hills Prep, they're going to be a tough out. Uh, and I need to see more Crespi. And you know who I'm really becoming a fan of? I had a chance to see him play at, at, at Pasadena. Miles Walker. Miles Walker. I, uh, some say he's undersized. I really like him playing alongside Braden Burries. Uh, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm going to watch a lot of his games this year. And uh, I, 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 I hope he gets what he wants out of Kyle. I, I think he's a hell of an intellectual on the court. And I, I genuinely wish him well. But uh, congratulations to all these kids and all these schools that won all these tournaments and all this. But I'm, it's too much. It's too. I'm not going to say no college, no high school names. But it's too much talent sitting on these private school benches. Y'all go ahead and have a good day. Peace.